Dear parents, do you believe that there is more to education? Are you preparing your child for a job or a meaningful future? I'm Dr. Vincent Chen, the principal of Fairview International School. Like you, I grew up in a traditional education system, one full of lots of boring lectures and memorizing. Thousands of children worldwide have benefited from this amazing program called the International Baccalaureate Primary Years Program, or IBTYP for short. <laughs> Using the very best methods in teaching and learning, like inquiry or concept-based teaching and learning, the PYP prepares your child to thrive in the increasingly uncertain future. Click on the link below, and a member of my team will get on call with you for a couple of minutes. We'll explore where you're stuck, what your concerns are, and how we can help your child find their breakthrough at Fairview's ID PYP program. See you on the inside. Oh, hey.
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, students and performers from across Malaysia. So I'm up that time. Welcome to the Dominus Concert Hall and welcome to Fairview International School, Kuala Lumpur. We're really looking forward to enjoying some fantastic musical performances today and to presenting awards to some very talented young musicians from around Malaysia. We come together today to nurture budding young pianists, to inspire them with world-class facilities, and to build up their professionalism. Excellence doesn't just happen. So let's all work together across Malaysia to build up these young artists so that they can shine brightly now and in the future. My name is Paul Kennedy, and I'm the assistant principal here at Fairview International School, Kuala Lumpur. I'm also the head of our new Cambridge Plus ITCSE program. Fairview International School is the top IB school in Malaysia, and we're in the top 50 IB schools globally. We offer IB education in our primary years program, middle years program, and diploma program from the first year of primary all the way up to years 12 and 13. Starting in February 2022, we are also introducing our new Cambridge Plus ITCSE program as well. We have five campuses across Malaysia, here in KL, Penang, Ipoh, Subang Jaya, Johor Bahru, and our own Edu Resort Camp in Port Dixon in the Gleeson Divan. We offer teaching qualifications from undergraduate up to master's and doctorate's degrees at our University College Fairview. We even have a campus in the UK, in the city of Stirling. This gives our students the opportunity to go on a school trip to the UK while continuing their classes without disruption. One of the many things that makes Fairview unique is our commitment to music. Everyone's a musician program. All students learn to play an orchestral instrument, such as piano, violin, cello, flute, saxophone. Our students learn to appreciate music and to play it themselves. It also gives them the opportunity to build up valuable personal qualities like cooperation, teamwork, and even leadership. Creating great music in a group with others is not only a celebration, it also shows us that we can and do create great things when we work together. And it is in this spirit of working together to create great things that we are honored today to bring together so many talented young musicians from across the country for the Fairview National Piano Competition 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to hand over now to the principal of Fairview International School, Kuala Lumpur, Dr. Vincent Chen. Dr. Vincent, over to you. Thank 
you, Paul. Um, re welcome, everybody. Welcome, parents. Welcome, friends. But most of all, welcome our VIPs, our performers, our young, talented performers. I'm really glad to welcome you all to the Dominus Hall for this wonderful occasion. I'm Dr. Vincent, uh, and as Paul said, I'm the principal here at this campus. As an IB educator, I'm really fond of reflection, looking inwards and thinking. So I am going to have us all do it twice in the next couple of minutes. So first of all, let's start with this. What I want you to do, I want you to, if you don't mind, join me with this. Close your eyes. Take a couple of deep breaths in and out. Four seconds in, four seconds out. That's one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, four. Let's just keep at this. Close your eyes, Harry. And as you quiet in your mind and you just breathe, I want you to listen. Can you listen to the song that's playing? There's a song that's playing inside of you. Gentle, very soft. But can you hear it? All right. When you're ready, let's go open our eyes. So I can tell you, it's not easy. We got a bulgy mic here, guys. It's not easy to hear your song. If you're not practiced a lot, you don't really hear it too well because it's really soft and you're not used to it. I can tell you what my song sounds like. It kind of goes like this. Any, anybody's an Apocalypse Now fan, you'll know it is. Does anyone, does anyone know what piece that is? Do you know what piece that is? Anybody? Oh, it's called Flight of, Flight of the Valkyries. Um, can you, the, the real question is, can you hear a song that's inside of your heart? And when I was young, um, I suffered from that time-honored tradition of most Malaysian Chinese boys or girls, where we make children memorize two exam pieces for an exam. And that's just all we did all year. Two years, uh, one year, two exam pieces, one performance, that's it. Nobody cared. The kid really didn't care any less about anything else. Just perfect your pieces, as well, she told me. And I memorized those things like crazy, and I played it every single day. Um, I did that, and, and I haven't played the piano. I got a grade eight, and I haven't played the piano for eight years, uh, 20 years right now. So it, it really killed my love for music. What that practice did was it taught me that the song that was in my heart was not important. I needed to listen to the song of others and memorize that. It wasn't so important as uh, the song that I needed to memorize in order to perform for somebody else. Learning to and listening to music, it helps us hear and find that inner song. It's kind of faint at the beginning when you first try and listen to it. But as you spend more time, you get better and you start recognizing it more and a little bit more each time. And one day I really hope that all of you can hear what your song sounds like and you can sing it loudly because that's who you are. I'd like to spend another moment of silence. And that would be for those who have, whose song has been silenced in this pandemic. Let's spend a moment to, to respect and remember the song of those that are not here anymore, who's well, gone quiet. Just a couple of seconds. Amen. I know, um, I know a lot of people in my circle 
who have lost brothers, sisters, fathers, uncles, loved ones, friends, alumni. I think most people have lost somebody. Even though in Malaysia we're not quite as bad as in the UK or, or the US, it's still pretty awful. This reminds me that there, there is a preciousness to each person we meet. And in order to honor that preciousness, I think what I've chosen to do is listen to the song that's playing inside of them here and really look at them and hear it. And if you really look hard enough at somebody, you can really hear that song inside of their head. It's, it's so fragile sometimes that a harsh word or a strong, innocent opinion could blow it away. Parents, you hold the key to nurturing the song in your children's hearts. Treat them gently. Guard them from the harsh words of the envious and fight off the naysayers that would ever tell your children that their song is less important than anything else. But once it blossoms, wow. I've seen it turn into an orchestra and go full-blown crazy, and it is beautiful to watch. At Hiperview, we believe that every child deserves to find their song. And to this end, as Mr. Paul has said, we teach every child an orchestral instrument. We don't insist that every child takes three sciences. Because knowing who you are is important than just memorizing more stuff and passing an exam. To understand the ebb and flow of a piece, and one day, just hopefully one day, they find their song. To that end, we built this beautiful hall that you're in so that they can share that song they hear with other people. Everyone, as you listen to our performance today, remember the delicacy of the song that they have. Nurture it with your claps and appreciation. Let's help each one of them find their song today and every day thereafter. I pray that each and every one of you bring home something special today. Who knows? It might just be your very own song. Ever always. Thank you, Dr. Ginson, for your thoughtful words. May I add on a personal note, I'm afraid my song wasn't quite as grand as uh, Light of the Belfries. I had the surface song from Madagascar. I'm not sure what that means. Moving along, on a more serious note, uh, I would like to introduce our esteemed judging panel for today. Our judges are accomplished musicians in their own right, and we are honored to have them here with us today and to share with us their wisdom and experience. Can we have the lights on to see our, uh, thank you, to see our judges? Let me quickly uh, introduce them one by one. We'll start with our head judge, Dr. Kum Pramachar. Dr. Poon is from Thailand and has established himself as one of the most prominent and promising young musicians of his generation. He's a distinguished piano faculty at University College Fairview. Dr. Poon has performed with Philharmonic and symphony orchestras around the world. And just last weekend, he performed here at the Dominus Concert Hall in a concert co-hosted by the Royal Embassy of Thailand to celebrate the Thai National Day. Our next esteemed judge is Dartin Dr. Catherine Ahn. She's an eminent musician with extensive experience as a music educator, pianist, mezzo-soprano, and conductor. She's been training teachers and performers from across Malaysia over the past 39 years. Moving along. 
Mr. Kok Kibun. He is the director of the performing arts here at Dominus. He is a pianist, impresario, concert promoter, producer, music teacher, and artiste manager over the past 35 years. He is also the recipient of an outstanding Young Malaysian Award. Moving along, our next judge is Mr. Kenneth Taekyun Huat. He has been actively performing around Malaysia as a soloist, chamber pianist, and accompanist. He graduated from the Moscow Conservatory of Music. And last, but indeed not least, Mr. Eugene Lin. <laughs> Eugene is an accomplished performer and teacher of music. He actively adjudicates at national and regional festivals and competitions, and was for several years on the examining panel for Trinity College London. Eugene is currently Trinity's regional academic consultant for the Southeast Asia region. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, young performers, it's now time to enjoy some tremendous performances from today's award-winning young musicians. Thank you, enjoy.
A big thank you to our performers today. That was quite inspirational. Well done to all of you. Our judges must now decide the best of the best. And I've got to say, you have not made it very easy for them today. They've, uh, they've got quite a challenge ahead of them. Today, the judges will decide our three Grand Prix winners. These are junior Grand Prix winner from levels one to five, the senior Grand Prix winner from levels six to eight, and then the advanced Grand Prix winner from associate and licentiate levels. Uh, can we have the lights on for the judges, please? Thank you. Uh, the judges panel will now withdraw to the recital studio and begin their deliberations. Good luck, you've got quite a challenge. Thank you, judges. enjoy two more wonderful musical performances, this time by our popular choice award winners. We'll give them a moment to come to the stage.
As the judges continue their deliberations, we will now show two short promotional videos that highlight some of the great programs and opportunities we offer here at Fairview International School. Is it possible to get an international school education from a world-class brand for free. Fairview International School has 42 years of educational tradition, is an award-winning educational brand, and is the top IB school in Malaysia in 2020. Our new referral program allows children to study for free forever. Contact us and find out how you will never have to pay your child's school fees ever again. Coming to you this February, our Fairy Cambridge Plus program for primary and lower secondary. Available at all our campuses, Wonsamaju KL, Subang, Ipo, Penang, and Johor. Scan the QR code to inquire now. This highly sought after program comes with an extremely affordable price tag from only 1,100 ringgit a month. Where else can you find such value for money? Oh, wait, did someone say free? Shh, I'll let you in on the secret at the end. The program is backed by one of the best educational brands in Malaysia, with a 42-year-old track record in academic excellence in both the O levels and the Ivy diploma. We are incredibly proud of our caring, competent, and experienced teachers, trained with the postgraduate diploma in education by our very own University College Fairbank, which has a long list of accreditations too, but we won't get into that here. And with our network of five schools, 
you have a community like no other, built around the core values of family, safety, and positivity. There is no end to the sharing of best practices, exchanging of ideas and innovation. And of course, for our students, a network of friends and steady companions that they can tap into. And did I forget to mention? Fairview has been awarded the prestigious Teaching and Learning Award at the International School Awards in 2021 for our innovative skill development program. This is where the plus comes in. On top of the subject offerings within the Cambridge syllabus, the Cambridge Plus program will incorporate the best practices in teaching and learning that won us the award and gave our kids such a wonderful educational experience. Like inquiry based learning, a skills development program which is integrated into the curriculum, character building, all supported by our own proprietary e online learning management system. Students will also have the opportunity to join co curricular activities, school competition teams, our annual Falcon Camp, exhibitions, mm -hmm. our customized AS coaching program for self development, growth, and leadership, and our Fairways career coaching which is based on the Ikigai model. Students can also make use of our multi-purpose hall, swimming pool, football field, basketball court, and of course, our impressive multi-million ringgit purpose-built Dominus Arts venue for all the musical, performance, and recording needs. Now, for not one, but two juicy secrets, we have an exclusive Pioneer fee privilege, only for the first 10 per level. Join quickly and get exclusive Pioneer fees. But if you would rather not pay anything at all, find out how our referral program allows you to pay no fees forever. So what are you waiting for? Apply now. Or if you still have questions, scan the QR code and inquire with us. We can't wait to welcome you. Thank you for your attention. The judges are still deliberating, so let's move on and meet some of today's young star performers and other musicians, all participants who achieved a score of 85% to 89% will receive a bronze award. Participants who achieved a score of 90 to 94% will receive a silver award. And participants who achieve a score of 95 to an amazing 100% will receive a gold award. Now, let's invite each of these talented groups of musicians onto the stage for some group photos. Uh, bronze award winners, please come up to the stage now. Ushers, please help them along. And can I invite Dr. Vincent Chen onto the stage now too.
It's now our pleasure to invite the Silver Award winners onto the stage. Silver Award winners, please come to the stage now. Ushers, let's help them along. Thank you. to the next uh, photo opportunity. Uh, gold award winners, please come to the stage now. Ushers, let's help them along. So gold winners, to the stage now, please. This is uh, performers who achieved 95 to 100%. Congratulations, that's an amazing effort. Right here. 
Judges have completed their deliberations and they have returned to the concert hall from the recital studio. Uh, welcome back, judges. I'd like to hand over now to our head judge, Dr. Poon Pramacha, who would uh, like to say a few words. Dr. Poon, over to you. Farewell and all my distinguished judges. Our mission and mission is to develop and nurture passion, creativity, and caring young musicians to contribute to create a better and more peaceful world. We have a very fair and transparent system of judging. The winner is the one who achieved the highest average mark of all five judges. The gold, silver, and bronze certificates were added as a bonus and a benchmark. So that you will know where you are, although you may win the first prize, but you may not get the gold certificate because you have not achieved the benchmark of 25 marks and above. Not only that, judges are not allowed to give mark to his or her own students, even if I had a student taking part in this competition. Not only that, I cannot award my student, but I also cannot give any result to the entire category. Having said that, there is no way juries can manipulate the score. We jury don't know even what other jury have been giving the money. However, in general, I have found that the spirit of young musicians in the competition is very, very high. Whatever price or mark you have received, do remember that. This is an excellent opportunity to start to work very hard for your future as a concert artist. I would like to congratulate and wish you all a very happy and bright future. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Poo. It is now time to call some more of our winners to the stage and to award some more prizes and, of course, to take some more photos. Bear with us. We've got quite a few to get through. I'd like to invite to the stage our grade one third place, second place, and first place winners. So, 
grade one, third place, second place, first place winners. Please come to the stage now. Ushers, please help them along. Uh, we'll need some help from Dr. Vincent and Dr. Kuhn. Uh, can we have the lights on? Thank you. Okay, moving along, grade two, third place, Marissa Wan Yu Jian. Thank you. 
Moving along, grade two, second place, Lol Zi Ying. Grade two, first place, Tainter Yin. Okay, moving along, grade three, our popular choice winner, Tan Er Xin. Okay, grade three, third place, Bien Song Chong Shuan. Second place, Lin Kai Chun. Grade three, first place winner, Teaching Yi. We move on to grade four. Popular choice winner, Anna Sophia Binti Harris. Okay, let's move on to third place. Third place, grade four, Tio E. Tong. Second place for grade four, Yong Jen Bun. And first place for grade four, Tan Er Jun.
Let's move on to grade five now. The Popular Choice Award, Kimberly Sen Chi. Grade five, third place, Li Wei. Let's move on to second place, Sandra Chong Shu Yi. Grade five, post place, Ho Jing Shang. Grade six. The popular choice award for grade six. The outro here. Grade six, third place. Ang Si Hin. And grade six, first place, Huang Jing Tang. Seven. The Popular Choice Award, Anson Han An Shuan. Third place, Chiharu Sugawara. Second place for grade seven, Qin Ying. Grade seven, first place, Tan An Hao. Choice winner, Hua Chen Yi. Hua Chen Yi is also our third place winner. Thank you. 
We now move on to grade eight, second place winner, Bo Xinyu. And grade eight, first place winner, Li Xinying. For our two senior levels, Associate Diploma, winner uh, first place and popular choice, Lin Yu Sheng. And finally, licentiate diploma. Third place, Ong Tzu Xin. Very important. Let's continue with his first place winner in grade eight. Hana Tanzi Yin. Congratulations. Okay, moving along, back to licentiate diploma. Third place, Ong, Ong Zixi. And now a double winner, popular choice, and second place, Lai Yek Sung.
license you to turn on. First place, Hong Xiangyang. after all that hard work. Dr. Poon, not so fast. <laughs> Sorry. Please wait a moment. Okay. Now, it's time for our Grand Prix winners. The Grand Prix winner for grades one to five our junior Grand Prix winner is Tan An Hao. Congratulations. Please come to the stage. Sorry for the minor confusion. Uh, to clarify, Tung and Hao is the senior Grand Prix winner. Now we'll go down to junior. Junior Grand Prix winner, Ho Jing Chung. Please come to the stage. stage, Tang Eun Hao for the Senior Grand Prix Prize.
before we move on, and before I hand over to the head judge, we have two more minutes from uh, associate diploma level. So we'd like to call two more uh, winners to the stage. Dr. Poom, don't go too far away. Dr. Vincent, up again, I'm sorry. Associate Diploma, third place, Dexter Chaw Gray Sun. to invite the head judge, Dr. Poom, to talk to us a little bit about the deliberations of the judging panel. Dr. Poom, over to you. Thank you very much, all committed. It was really not easy for all of us to really deliver the result. What I can say is that every single of you have performed from your heart. Nevertheless, there are just a few things that we all do really have to take it into consideration. First of all, for all of you to be able to perform in this such a magnificent hall, one of the best people in the world, actually is the best in the world, starting with the family of you have to adjust in such a way that you really can produce a beautiful sound out of this concert hall. If it's a different way from the way that you practice at home, then you have to adapt it very, very quickly, right away, since you start from the piano. Um, for the first two categories, it was very special for us because we could feel such a great passion from all the candidate and we can really deliver the result very, very clearly because the winners are absolutely stunning. We love our performances very much. Unfortunately, for the highest category, our district jury have decided not to allow for the grand prize because we have found that most of you can deliver better and at the same time, try to also study for the score even deeper into the details, into the sense of task that you have produced, the sound, and of course, the interpretation. And nevertheless, thank you very much for everybody for playing wonderful music today. Let's pause just for a moment. Uh, Dr. Pu, I'm sorry to give you a shock, but, uh, and I'm very sorry, well, I'm not very sorry to put you on the spot. As an acclaimed and accomplished pianist, we'd like to invite you to step up to the Steinway and play us a little something.
Can't even pay uh, piano teachers. Um, got to borrow money. Try hard. A Fourteen-year-old, if I'm not mistaken, he already went into the world international competitions and won that first place. But, And it doesn't come as a surprise. And it's not uh, a fluke shot. Dr. Pung, how many hours do you practice every day? No, clock. How many hours do you practice every day? No clock. Yeah. There is no time. His minimum that I know is more than four hours every day regardless of whether it is rain or shine and he played passionately not because he's clocking the four hours and he if he has a performance like uh, last week he literally locked himself in the room for more than a week just perfecting every single bar and that is dedication that is sacrifice. And I know that Malaysians, we may not have that kind of, uh, of uh, luxuries, you know, distractions, examination, certificate, first prize. However, at 14 years, 14 years old, she went, she went into the stardom for the world first prize and from there onwards never look back he got the personal scholarship from the late princess of thailand not with government the late princess herself from there he went to uk he went to bank up uh, went to moscow and eventually got his doctorate degree from uh, mantra just graduated. Fabio is very, very fortunate to have him. Not because he has his PhD in music, but because of his love for playing as a performer. We like him to try one or two pieces. And if you clap harder and you stand up and call, she will play a lot more. <laughs> and she will.
And we have more than 25 ambassadors are here just to listen to him. Next week, third Saturday, Fairview will also have another uh, concert to celebrate Christmas uh, from Fairview with love. And uh, Dr. Poom will be the key person there among many other players. Um, if you have time, come and join us. Last week, Dr. Vincent Chen also announced at the end of the, the concert that Fairview Foundation has set aside 10 million for music scholarships. And this is one of the, the opportunity that when we look at all the, the pianists, the budding one goes to great potential, Fairview would like to nurture them and will bring them to the international. And with this hope, some of you may want to consider this. Please do approach some of our senior staff. Uh, they will let you know more or where to find more information. So you're ready?
and I promise no more surprises. Take it easy. <laughs> A big thank you to our judges today. 
and especially uh, a big thank you to our head judge and final performer, Dr. Pu. A big thank you to our principal, Dr. Vincent Chen. A shout out to our chairman, Mr. Daniel Chen, for an impromptu speech and some inspiring words. On a personal note, I would also like to commend the many staff members of our team here today who have been working tirelessly behind the scenes to keep everything running smoothly and successfully. A big thank you and a big shout out to all of you working behind the scenes today. Fantastic work. A big thank you to everybody, every one of you for joining us today here in the Dominus Concert Hall at Fairview International School, Kuala Lumpur. Before you head home, please be sure to scan the QR code. You'll see them in the foyer and at the reception desks. Please share with us your feedback. We'd love to hear your advice on how we can do better in future events. Now, I would like to finally invite all of our first place winners onto the stage now for a photo opportunity. Also, anybody who missed their photo opportunity for their uh, for their own reward, I'm sorry, own reward, please come onto the stage. So if you missed your photo, come up now. First place winners, please come up onto the stage. Uh, everybody, thank you, take care, stay safe. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.